Hi, I'm Tess. Hi, I'm Sarah. And we are... The Happy Edit Sisters. Happiness isn't just being happy. It's an embodied feeling that starts with how we approach life, our actions, and our mindset. Everyone has a range of emotions, and that's a good thing. Join us as we dive into what it means to be happy and how we build a foundation for happiness through different lenses. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Tess. How are you? Oh, I'm I'm good. I'm good. It's it's a bit um hot and humid here. I'm like dripping because I had to shut the windows because otherwise you hear this racket of the seagulls, which is nice when you're just working, but not for recording. And now I'm literally dripping. <laughs> Sorry for anyone there if that's too much <laughs> imagery for you. The weather's quite hot over in Spain at the moment, isn't it? It is. And like where we are, it's not that bad. It's not like the insane temperatures that they have down in the south, but you have really really high humidity like I think right now it's probably like between 85 and 90 percent humidity it's not raining but you still feel like all that moisture in the air and it's cloudy and it's just heavy (laughs) just like (laughs) oppressive yeah (laughs) definitely well here in Manchester we've definitely had the rain over the last few weeks um yeah we had that really nice weather and then it has literally just rained ever since. We've had little bits of like sunshine in between, but not too much. It's still quite warm though. So at least it's warm and not cold. That's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you know, we're going to be down in uh, Nerja for a couple of weeks. So I think um, you're going to get all the heat that you want. <laughs> down <in the laughs> Definitely. <South of> Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited for that. So just so everyone knows, you probably read the title of this episode, but this is the last episode of our season one. And we just first off want to say thank you so much for joining us in this first season. It has just been such fun to explore what it is to be a podcaster, um, sharing, you know, this sort of journey with you and in exploring what it means to be happy in ourselves but also with uh the guests that we've been having on as well definitely yeah just to echo what tessa said so thank you to everyone that's joined us everybody that's been a guest everybody that's listened um and i can't believe that we've come to the end of the first season and already kind of maybe got a few interviews already in the bag for next season and lots planned um but yeah it's been been a journey so we thought we'd reflect on that journey today yeah yeah exactly um and so I think one of the first things that I want to put out there is just like how beautiful it's been to to explore what happiness means to various people you know between ourselves um the guests that we've had on and also like as doing this you know the the people that reach out to me and you know or and I'm sure you've been getting the same Sarah you know Mm -hmm. and it's like them also talking about what happiness means to them and them you know it gets them to start thinking about it and I think so often you know we just go through life without thinking about what really makes us happy and what happiness really means to us and so like just taking this time once a week to kind of sit down and explore that I think I think it's really it's it's been really eye-opening for a lot of us definitely definitely I've I've had the same experience where people have kind of said to me that you know I was listening to it on the bus or you know I kind of just popped it in when I was on my way to work and you know just little bits that have maybe come from an episode that they've gone that really connected with that moment that you said whatever it was that we might have said and you know maybe being in the moment or just pausing just taking you know maybe doing the um the worry tree or the stress bucket and you know kind of coming back and 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 saying I really connected with that um so that was really lovely feedback to hear from people oh definitely and then I, I um I have a, a friend who is who is listening to this. And if you're listening to this now, shout out to you. I'm not gonna name you, but you know who you are. Um and 
they were in the the episode that we did with Connor, we we were talking about um funerals and death and finding, mm. you know, that connection through that and the beauty and the you know remembrance of it. And you know, she came up, she was like, Yeah, you know, I, I really liked that episode, but oof. Like it got a bit dark at times. And I was like, oh, mm. like just not really processing, you know, me thinking about that. And she's like, yeah, you know, when you started talking about, about funerals and I was like, oh, well, what, what was dark about it to you? And she's like, well, you know, you're talking about death. And I was like, but we also talked about, you know, the, the, the beauty that you can find and the connection. And she was like, yeah, that's true. I hadn't really thought about it that way. And then we got into a much longer conversation about what that that means to us, you know, and and how we can kind of use these moments of of grief to also connect to ourselves and and to the memory of of those that we have and then to the the ones we still have around us. And it it was just so beautiful, you know. So I think sometimes it's it's, you know, there's moments where you think, oh. I'm not sure about that. Mm. And then you get to stop and pause and reflect with another person. And I think that that's what I really like about the podcast is that you have those, those, that ability to kind of sit down and, and go through things and dive through things that maybe you wouldn't do on a day-to-day basis, or you wouldn't even think about. And that's one of the beautiful things that having like guests Mm. come on is you start thinking about these things and you get to share them with other people. And then, you know, you get to, create this sort of collective conversation that topics that maybe we would have never like focused on or delved into before definitely definitely I think it was the episode with Dominique where we spoke about and I'm I'm hoping it was Dominique now that where we spoke about anxiety and we were saying about how anxiety it can't really be in the, the past and it can't really be it can be in the past area and it is in the future but it can't be in the now and the amount of times that I have now kind of used that with my clients and reflecting on okay so but if we're in the moment and we're focusing on whatever it is we're doing in that moment is anxiety in in that moment and and the amount of people that kind of go well actually no because I'm not thinking about the future I'm not thinking about the past um so yeah things like that I've used quite a lot yeah 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 no it's it's been just so wonderful and such a wonderful journey for us and hopefully it's been a wonderful journey for Mm -hmm. you as well as the listener and you've been able to connect with these things and you know one of the things I've also liked the comments that I made is people like you know I feel like I'm just sitting down on like a sofa listening to you guys right and like I'm there in the room and I don't feel like this is like a big production because it's uh, not a big production (laughs) It's quite nope. a small production, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I'm glad that people feel that camaraderie through through the uh, the podcast as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because we we kind of we played around the idea, didn't we, of, of having Michael and, and Connor on and and doing the episode with the husbands? But it felt really important for us to kind of introduce our partners and allow people to kind of have a little bit of a a look into our lives as well and, and do that really early on and. And I, I think that's been really helpful for people as well to kind of just have a little bit of insight into like who we are um, as people and who the people are around us as well. And um, I know that when I've spoken to people kind of since those episodes were released and they'll say, oh, and you're Michael and you're Connor. and <laughs> Yeah, yes, yes, exactly, exactly. And like even my parents, like they were like, oh, you know, it's really interesting, like, you know, I, I know both of those, Michael and Connor, obviously, but, you know, the, listening to their their interviews, like, I feel like I know them so much better. <laughs> you know, so even like the people that know each other, you know, and myself yeah. as well, like there was things that came out, especially of Connor's that I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. That's really interesting. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And I think as we, we're working together, Tess, as well, I think we're kind of learning so much more about each other. And, you know, we've known each other for over a decade. And, um, yeah, we're starting to just a deeper level of, of understanding of each other, I think, as well, which I'm really, really grateful for. Oh, me too. Me too. I'm, I'm so grateful for all of the opportunities that this mm. podcast has brought, the connections, the ability to, to get to know other people better mm. and, and to explore topics that I find so fascinating. 
um, in sort of a, a wider mm-hmm. scheme that I haven't been able to do before. And I am incredibly excited that this is continuing. We're not stopping here. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, that just having this sort of moment at the end of this first season to reflect and look back and it's just, I'm just so grateful for it all. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely grateful for the opportunity. And, and I think, I think for me as a, as an individual as well, it's, I think it's made me stop in other areas of my life as well, you know, whether probably mainly in work kind of capacities and going, okay, right, just pause, be in the moment. Yeah, what opportunities are around you right now? Where do you want to get to and how do we get there? But enjoying the moment, getting there as well. So, you know, it's not a race. I don't have to be there right now or tomorrow. But kind of when we mentioned about those stepping stones, well, actually enjoy each stepping stone you know, kind of just take that time. So I think that's something that I've definitely reflected on over the last seven, or it's not even seven months, it's seven months since we started kind of really talking about it, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it seems crazy, doesn't it? It's like, oh yeah. And and I'm so with you on that pausing and and, and really noticing what's happening and Mm. taking time with it and I think that that has been such a beautiful theme throughout this whole season as well is you know so often people have said you know that that's one thing that they've learned is that they need to take that pause whether that's in work right we talked about this with Amanda McKinney um in uh episode five I think it was I really should have written this down um (laughs) I think it was episode five, Um, you know, like pausing and taking that time to look around you in your business life. Right. And then also, you know, going through that as well, you know, the different aspects of like looking at it in your day to day life. You know, how can I take those moments of pause and just Mm. enjoy where I am? As you mentioned, you know, anxiety is in the past. It's in the future. You know, so, you know, taking that time just to, to be now. Um, and I, I definitely have brought that into my life as well a lot more since starting this this mm-hmm. podcast. Um, because mm-hmm. yeah, when you go into it every week, you know, it's like, oh yeah, this is a really good reminder that it's important to be reminded. Because even though we know that we're supposed to be doing this, you know, like, you know, you say it to your clients <laughs> all the time, like it's important to be in the now. <laughs> but then, like because of life life gets hectic and you forget it as well and so having those weekly reminders um and those different outlooks that other people bring on on it is is just so yeah it's so interesting and it's so beautiful you definitely know it is is and something else that I, I, I think I reflected on was about boundaries and I know we've we've done an episode on boundaries um but kind of be, being flexible with the boundaries, but also at the same time, maybe kind of tighten, tightening some of them up as well. As, and, you know, I know that as a person, I quite often go, of course I can do that. Yes, I can do that. Oh, and yeah, yeah, of course I can do that as well. And I have I do think I've become a little bit more bounded of going, do you know what, actually, no, I've, I haven't got that space to do that right now, or I can't do that right now. Um, and that's really been really empowering to be able to do to do that as well. Um, so I think I'm again going back to that word grateful. I'm really grateful for for that kind of opportunity to be able to really reflect on what's important to me, what's important to my family. Um, so yeah, that's that's something that I'm very thankful for. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I think, you know, when you take time to like put together an episode, you, you know, especially when it's just the you and I, like I take time and I, I research things ahead of time, you know, and I I kind of spend time processing what I want to say. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't write out scripts, but, you know, just to have an idea of like what, where I want to go with it. And, and I do think that like with the boundaries and, and some of the other stuff as well, 
you know, just going into that a little bit deeper. And it really makes you think about how am I bringing this into my own life? Right. And, Mm -hmm. and how, how am I showing up for myself? Um, and then am I, am I doing it right? Or am I not? And can I, is there ways that I can improve on it? You Mm -hmm. know, just like I would say to someone else. And I think, I think that is, it is really beneficial as I mentioned before, you know, just those constant reminders of, oh yeah, <laughs> this is important. Mm, definitely. No, it, it really isn't. I was having a conversation with somebody yesterday and one of the things that we spoke about was, you know, change and that the only thing that's certain in life is that things change. Um, and I think, I think that kind of goes back to the boundaries as well, is that, so boundaries do have to be flexible because we have to go with change. And as we go with change, those boundaries have to move and flex. But we have to be mindful about how much that flexes with, so that we don't lose who we are as well. And um, yes, yeah, so yeah. Yes, don't lose who good. we are, don't, don't overwhelm ourselves, you know, and, and really cherish the, the life that we're living and cherish the changes as well right like mm. I, it it change is often difficult because it's an unknown mm-hmm. right and so like you're like oh but but what if right what what if something goes wrong so you're going back to like what we talked about in the nervous system edit right like you know ah oh, so I don't know what's happening. So I want to need to protect myself, right? And like, this is like a, an unconscious thing that's happening in our bodies. And so this goes into our brains. And so changes can be very difficult. It can be scary, but mm-hmm. at the same time, it, it can be really beautiful, especially when you take that moment to pause and open yourself up to it. Um, and like, I know, I know when we started this podcast, <laughs> like that was a change for both of us, right? Like <laughs> coming on every week like putting our voices out there um you know and and in some ways being fairly vulnerable in in a very public way Mm -hmm. um and you know at first it's like what are we doing (laughs) um are and eh, is anyone gonna actually listen to it like is it just just like this gibberish but like so many steps of this this journey that we've had with the podcast is showing me that like it's so worth it. Like these, these moments of change, you know, when you're, when you're allowing yourself to be open to them and, and staying within your boundaries, you know, so not like completely like, you know, destroying everything that you've set to support yourself, but also like allowing, allowing yourself to explore what that change means and, and how you, you can adapt to the change and, and how you can bring your boundaries along with that. And, you know, just, just have fun with it as well Mm -hmm. like that's one Mm -hmm. of the things I really liked about um the episode that we did with Dom and it's in my head because (laughs) we just came out with it but like it's you know we had like she talked about how it's so important to bring fun into life and like you know that is so true and I think that that's one of the things that I really enjoyed with this this podcast is because I'm having fun like I'm mm-hmm. having fun talking with you I'm having fun exploring these new things I'm having fun talking with new people um and and you know diving into what happiness means to them and so it's just it's just been such a wonderful experience of like of change of mm-hmm. noticing within myself and of being able to share all of that with with other people Definitely, definitely. It made me laugh when you said, when you kind of went, oh, when, you know, kind of starting the, the podcast and I was being quite vulnerable and there may or may not have been a few messages and, and voice messages that I've sent us over the last few months going, I've got really poster syndrome. <laughs> oh, totally. hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> like do I actually know what I'm talking about <laughs> and it's still out there whether I do which is okay <laughs> yeah but I think that you know that the more that you do it the more you feel confident in it and I think that that is part of it isn't it you know that's part of the the, the scariness of change because you don't know how you're going to be able to adapt and how you're going to be able to show up for it yeah. and 
And once you do it, you're like, okay, this is maybe okay. Eh, the first mm-hmm. kind of, eh. and then the more you do it and the more you do it, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And that doesn't mean that that doesn't get rid of the imposter syndrome by any means, but like you're, you're feeling much more confident in your abilities because you're seeing, okay, A, I can do it. B, people are responding to it in a really wonderful way. That's awesome. And they're gaining yeah. from it. And for me, like that is that is so important that like whatever I'm able to give out, people can benefit from. Definitely. And I think as well, you know, I suppose going back to the the opportunities that whenever I have those moments of, oh, oh, do I really know what I'm talking about here? And oh, did I say the right thing there or the wrong thing? That actually I then, I have the opportunity to reflect and go, okay, so how do my clients feel? And it it gives me a real kind of sense of connection and empathy of being able to go, okay, so I, I, I've i noticed this feeling inside me. So I'm able to connect more with my clients as well. Um, yeah. And yeah, and I, I find that as a, as a kind of an opportunity, again, feeling very grateful for that opportunity to be able to, to have some of those really difficult moments because we can learn from them. We well, we do learn from them, you know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. We do learn. We learn from everything. And sometimes the most difficult moments that we have are the ones that we learn from the most because we're like having to sort it out, you know, and we're having to properly think, okay, how do I progress through this? Mm-hmm. Whereas, you know, when mm-hmm. it's easy and fun, you're like, ah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you just swim through it. Um, and you Definitely. don't always pause to take that time to go huh but I think that that's you know that that's so much of what we're talking about in this first season is you know as said before like it's about those pauses and and Mm. and taking time and being in the moment to notice whether you have you know whether you are feeling stressed whether you are feeling you know overwhelmed whether you are Mm. feeling happy whether you are feeling you know joyful and connected and you know really noticing where that's coming from and you know, how can we increase the good stuff, you know, and how can mm. we maybe take steps away from, from the not yeah. so great stuff? Um, because it's all, it's all that journey, you know, it's all that ebb and flow of, of life, which is really cool. Yeah, definitely. Tess, if there was a word, just one word that maybe has been used in the podcast um, over the episodes that you would take away, what would it be? Oh, um, just so everyone knows, this was not a programmed question. Nope. <laughs> so I'm Just properly on the spot. thinking about this. <laughs> um, I I think I would be B. Ah, okay. For the breathing. Just to be. Oh, to be. Yeah. Okay. So like, you know, and, and be in, you know, pause be in in the now enjoy the now mm. and I think that that yeah to be to be mm. oh I love that I love that to be I love that when you said be then it kind of made me think about the be breathing which I suppose that is as well being in it yeah. being being in the now um yeah the word that I would use would be I think reframing I love mm. the I love the idea of reframing, of of kind of either reframing or changing that focus to something else. I love that idea. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, um, as we said, this is the last episode of this season, which means you won't be hearing from us. Um, for the next month or so. <laughs> um, but we will be back in September. So um, I am incredibly excited for this next season. We already, as Sarah mentioned before, we already have actually a fair few of these interviews already um, already recorded that we're going to be sending out to you. Um, several more that are in the works. Um, they're booked in. They've just not been done yet. And lots of wonderful content that we have planned um 
just between Sarah and I to share with you. And who knows, maybe some other random stuff that pops up because of life. And we go, actually, <laughs> let's fit that in. <laughs> There'll definitely be some random stuff. <laughs> we'll, we'll be sending you videos on Instagram from Nurka. Don't you guys worry. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes. I am so excited for Nurka. It'll be so much fun, even if we like become little boiled potatoes. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Tess, do you think it would be good for us to offer a, um, a happy edit tool for our listeners today? I think that would be a great thing to do. Mm-hmm. Um, Sarah, do you have one in mind or? Yeah, I was thinking we've had the opportunity today to be able to reflect and to be thinking about boundaries things that we might feel grateful for and pausing and being in the moment and to to have a think about change so I think it'd be nice to kind of offer that out to the listeners as well to kind of just have that time whether that's five minutes ten minutes half an hour an hour however long that that you know however long you've got to kind of spend on that 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 moment, that exercise, just to reflect and just to kind of, just to notice without judgment and with compassion. Yeah. To just kind of go back, where, where am I at this point in my life? Yeah. I love that. I love that. I think that that's something that we should all do on a regular basis is just take that time to reflect. Mm -hmm. And actually that makes me think of one of the, um, episodes and interviews that we did that's coming up next season we're going to go into that more with (laughs) another wonderful guest that we're going to have on so I'm just a little sneak peek there just a little excitement (laughs) Um, but before we get to that yes take this next you know today tomorrow this next month to you know pause a little bit and reflect and Mm. reflect with compassion I like that yeah definitely definitely have a lovely summer everybody and we will see you all in september see you in september bye bye at the happy edit podcast be mindful that the podcast is not in replacement of therapy if you do need further support please do contact us on our contact details in the show notes and we're more than happy to offer further support and guidance and direct you to places like the counseling directory or therapy directories if you do also need further support we'd also recommend you contacting your primary health care provider thanks very much for listening and we'll see you all soon